Hello, this video is going to be about if else statement in C sharp. The first thing to do is always open a project. Console application. So the if else statement is nothing but a way for you to control which part of the code gets executed. So let's say I am going to have a integer here, and my integer x equals 10. I can say if x is smaller than 10, then I want to execute something. I want to say smaller than 10 and I also want to say if x is bigger than 10 now I want to say bigger than 10 And my last option is say if x equals 10, then I want to print equals 10. And if I run this program, I get equals 10. The reason I get 10 is because this part of the code is true therefore this executes now this code is very inefficient and the reason is inefficient is because no matter what every single if statement every single condition will be tested so if this number was 9 9 is more than 10 and you're executing this part of the code so even though this part of the code is executed because this statement was true this statement will also be tested and so will this one so in order to avoid this we want to put else if else if so if you do that, just in case if this code is true, if this condition is true, this block of code gets executed and then it will not test the other conditions, it will skip this entire thing. So we always want to put else if you cannot do that all the time there may be a case there may be a situation where you do have to test every single one of them but this is a typical case where you do not need to test all of them if the first one was successful now we can improve this if else statement even more so the first option is if x is more than 10 the second option is if x is bigger than 10. Now there is no other option but to be equal. And if there is no other option, then we can eliminate this condition. And we know that if this is not true, and if this is not true, it will execute this. This case only, we know for sure that there is only three outputs, either smaller, bigger, or equals so you can eliminate the last statement the last condition and everything is going to be fine so small than 10 if we have this to be 11 now we're targeting this part of the code bigger than 10 and if we know that the x equals 10 we're gonna get right here And that's all.